All right, so what I got going on today is I'm going to be installing some two inch wheel spacers on my uh, King Quad here. Now I have one inch spacers on the rear. I don't have anything on the front. Um, I was originally going to get one inch spacers on the front, never ended up happening because it just, I like the way it sat, everything looked kind of even. Uh, but now I want to give myself a little bit wider of a track because I switched to 28 and I really don't want to go any bigger of a tire on this, uh, on this King Quad here because I don't want to just lose any more power than I have to. So, um, I'm gonna widen my track a little bit with these two inch spacers and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So right now, here's where I'm currently sitting at. All right, so the one inch spacer on the rear, these uh, Terminator style tires stick out just a little bit from the fender. Front, same. You know, they stick out just a little bit and that's without a spacer at all. So I'm gonna go two inches all around to widen my track out, just to try to get through some of these mud holes that people are like digging out and stuff, give myself a little bit wider of a track than, you know, most SUVs, a lot of guys are running wider, uh, wider setups, spacers, especially side by sides, but um, you know, a lot of guys aren't. So maybe I'll meet somewhere in the middle and uh, I can get through some stuff a little bit better. All right, so, Got my front spacers prepped, got the wheels off. So there it is, two inch spacer, like freaking massive. These are made by a uh, company called Street Rays out of uh, Austin, Texas. So these are 100% uh, you know, built aluminum, machined here in the US of A. Um, I had high lifter spacers before. They're still in the back. I'm about to take them off here in a second. Um, I was gonna go with high lifter, but I found these. They're American made right in Texas and they were $92, I believe, for all four of them. Whereas the high lifters are about $60, $65 just for two. So that would have, you know, equaled $120, $130 by the time I would have had four, a complete set. So figured, you know, save myself about, you know, 30 ish dollars and uh go with a company where i know they're made in the uh, usa and uh we'll see how they do support smaller businesses uh high lifter love them but uh you know give the give the little guy a chance so uh here we are today i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these on nothing to it so mounts in the stock location put your bolts in Boom, and then you'll just put your tire back on and you'll use these new threads that are supplied for uh, your wheels to bolt onto. And that's gonna be it. So I'll hit you guys back up once the uh, spacers are in on the front and the wheels are back on and then I'll hit up the so rear. The front's done. Remember how it was before? <laughs> wow. So we're about, I don't know, almost half tread, half tire sticking out from the fender that's gonna increase that track by a lot. So hopefully I can get through some stuff. Holy crap, I almost dropped my phone. So there's the uh, there's the front now. This kind of messes it up. Let me move this. Get the damn way. All right, so that's how the front sits now. Pretty aggressive. I'm probably gonna get covered in mud, but if I can get through the mud holes, then uh, yeah, not too worried about it. I uh, got my gator waders for that, so we good. <laughs> the back looks so sunk in right now. All right, I'm about to do the back now. So uh, just took off the first uh, rear tire. Here's the high lifter one inch spacer that I'm taking off and the uh, street raised two inch spacer that I'm putting on so quite a bit of difference all right I'm gonna get to it so I can go ride all right okay. we're back rear's done honestly everything's kind of lined up I don't really notice that it sticks out too much further I mean obviously it does because it went from a one inch spacer to a two inch spacer um, it's just not as dramatic as the uh, as the front so, I mean, it still sticks out quite a little bit. Um, there's the fronts there. So, you know, I'd say this front sticks out a little bit more. Let's see if they get right on the tire here. Eh? Yeah. Maybe a, a little bit more. Not too much, though. It's pretty, uh, 
It's pretty close, but it's just more noticeable on the front because the uh, fenders don't fly out as far. So, yeah, pretty sweet. So these are uh, 28 by 10 by 14s, two inch spacer, two inch high lifter lift. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do to it, suspension wise. I'm not gonna put it, I'm not gonna put any bigger tires on it. I'm not gonna, you know, lift it anymore. I mean, they have the spring spacers and all that crap, but I don't really want too harsh of a ride, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much it for this machine. There's not really much else I could do to it. Got the exhaust, tuner, lift, tiger tail, snorkels, rad kit, LED bars, bumpers, front and rear, winch. I mean, she's uh, pretty much how she's gonna be until I upgrade to a bigger, batter machine. One day, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna be anytime soon. All right, let's test this thing out, see how she does today.